Well, is, <coughs> is Labour's position on second referendum becoming clearer or not? No, uh, because there's clear division uh, you know, across the party, between you know, within the leader's office, between uh, different MPs. Look, essentially, what's, I think you need to sort of zoom out a little bit and, and ask what's happened here. You had an argument in 2016 in very broad terms in which, and this is a very, very, very important point to make, no one, including people who voted Remain, no one really understood exactly what withdrawing from the European Union would involve. That was as true of people who voted Remain as it was people who voted Leave. You then triggered Article 50 and you had a process, basically a sort of a, a moment where Britain's slightly abstract weird, not very detailed, broadly fact-free debate about relationship with the European Union had a kind of bumped into reality and someone had to go, the government ministers, officials, everyone had to go sit opposite the table from Michel Barnier and get schooled in the reality of what it actually means to withdraw from the European Union. That process ended. Um, most Brexiteers looked at the outcome of that process, what it actually said about the strategic reality of Britain's relationship with the European Union, freaked out, said we don't like that, we don't like the terms that come out of that, we reject it, and now after the sort of brush by with reality, our European Union debate has just sort of sailed off, and now you have the Brexit party essentially talking about the process just like it's 2016 again, and in total defiance of the actual reality and all of the evidence base that you have accrued over the last two, three years, and the Labour party sitting back from that going, maybe if this whole house burns down the Tory whole there project. is no we can walk across the ashes and become a government and yeah. it's basically embarrassing for every other country in the world is looking at this and goes that is a country that basically doesn't even believe in economic or political gravity anymore